Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Jim Mess. And salutations to all you occupied that pushing this word of sincerity and truth. Coming back at you. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I was reading this article right here from Newsweek. It says racist trolls spread fake stories of attacks on Black Panther movie goers. Now, this movie Black Panther has came out um, yesterday. You know, and um, basically, it's causing a lot of controversy, man. Um, a lot of racial tension is, is stirred up. Because for one, the title itself, Black Panther, you know, which is a Marvel comic superhero, but uh, the title itself, Black Panther. You know, it wasn't that popular back in the day. But you think about the 1960s and 70s, they had that militant group called the Black Panthers, and they was basically against white supremacy, racism, white supremacy. So that word Black Panther means a lot to these goddamn crackers out here. You know, who want, want to kick it off, kick off racial tension. So you got these crackers going around basically saying they got beat up by black people, you know, for going to see the movie, which they lying to stir up race tension, man. All right, and this movie has come out in the month of February. This month of February is so-called um, Black History Month. You know, that's another thing. And they got a, basically an all-black cast, man. And um, really, this is one of the first superhero movies of a so-called Negro that I can recall that has um, made this much money already at the box office and has been as highly uh, praised, man. Um, you know, you had the movie with Wesley Snipes, um, Blade back in the day, that was that's another Marvel Comics uh, superhero. Blade that one did pretty good too. It had like I think three um, three series to it, three movies to it, and um, that one was a successful franchise. So you got this movie Black Panther just came out, and it's highly successful, and it's stirring these, it's making these crackers mad, man, because you got a black superhero that's out here, you know, and it's it's doing very well. And you also got another black superhero move, movie on uh, Netflix called Luke Cage, which a lot of crackers got mad at that because that's an all-black cast, and you got a, a brother out there, you know what I'm saying, as a superhero. You know, you got this brother um, who's in Black Panther as a superhero, and it's basically, man, this is bringing back um, the so-called Negro's masculinity, man, because when these young guys see this, man, they're going to... Some of them probably start wearing tight pants and all that other bullshit, you know, stop being effeminized. And they're going to, you know, it's going to bring back uh, masculinity among the so-called Negroes and then Latinos and Native Americans, man, because they see somebody of color on the screen kicking ass, basically, man. And that's what we, and that's, we should have more movies like that, but really it should be about King David, you know what I'm saying, and King Solomon and Daniel and, um, you know, the other... Our, the other brothers from the past, you know what I'm saying, our forefathers from the past, you know, who was putting in work back then, you know what I'm saying, Joshua, you know, the warrior movies, you know, you know, um, Samson, you know, and various others in the, in the scriptures of our forefathers who was putting in that work, you know, kicking ass back then, you know, the warriors. And uh, I'm glad this movie coming out, man. I'm, I'm very glad this movie coming out. And like I said, stirring up the minds of... Uh, our people, man, you know, that, that they're in a damn dope dealing movie or a game banger movie, you know, or, or a damn comedy. You know, they love, they love to see niggas laughing all the damn time. It's a serious war, warrior like movie. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm glad this movie coming out there. Like I said, it's stirring up a lot of tension out there with all these crackers out there because they hate to see a Negro doing good, you know what I'm saying, for his people. So um, this is Second Ezra's. 13 and uh, 31 and one sh and one shall undertake to fight against another one city against another one place against another un against another one people against another and this is what's going to happen soon man a race war man because movies like this Black Panther this is stirring up racial tension man just like you had the movie that came out a while ago it's still they they somehow making them putting that movie back in the theaters and letting people watch it for free it's called Get Out you know, that's a, that's a real good movie, about that. and it's basically, it's, it, it's basically, uh, you know, uh, showing, the, showing that the white woman is a damn devil, man. All right, it's basically exposing the so-called white woman as a damn devil, man. All right, and, and movies like this are going to keep coming, and it's Esau who's financing these movies, you know, to stir things up, because he know this damn country is on its way out of here, America is on its way out of here, it's about to be done away with. 
And that's part of the most size um plan, you know what I'm saying? That's part of the prophecies is that a race war is gonna come, man. So I can gotta get prepared for this, man. This thing is coming, man. It says, and one realm against another, man. And one people against another. That's racial tension, man. Okay, and this movie is, is setting the hearts and minds of um our people on fire, man, to, to you know, to be strong minded. You know, and, and, you know, it's not a part of the scriptures, but, you know, it's still stirring up our people, you know, against these damn crackers out here, man, that you're better than these bad damn stereotypes, what they you know, see you as, man. All right. Let me jump over here. Uh, let me see. Um, yeah, yeah. Let me jump over here. Um, second, as was 15 and 15, it says, for the sword and their destruction draw up near. And the modern day sword is a gun, man. You got all type of AK 47s, 9 millimeters, um, Glocks, Tech 9s. And you know, here in Chicago, a couple of days ago, they killed some um, high ranking police officer, some cracker, got killed by a Negro in, in a damn uh, federal building downtown. Okay, they, this guy, they had his funeral today. The, the, the damn traffic was all blocked off. It was, it was a mess out there. And this was a high ranking um, police. He was some sergeant or some, you know, I don't know what he was. I looked up his last name. He was so-called Jewish. And you know, damn way, and he's from a place here in Chicago called um, Bridgeport. And it's very racist over there, man. It's, it's been Negroes that have been killed over there. All right? But now it's a lot of Latinos, so-called Latinos that have moved over there, so-called Mexicans. And they be into it with them crackers around there, man. All right? It says, for the sword and their destruction draw up near and one people shall stand to fight up against another with and swords in their hands. Okay, and swords in their hands, because it's gonna be this thing gonna get deep, man. And like I said, you're gonna be hearing gunshots all damn day and night, and it's gonna be racial. And and the most high is stirring it up, man. And like and he's stirring it up through this entertainment, man. Alright, he's stirring it up through these entertainers and his, and, and brothers have been bringing out videos about, you know, his rappers out here that's knowing that they're Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Spreading the word. So this thing is gonna get deep, man, and, and, and um, the most I gonna stir up these two thirds. I had to, to jack these crackers up too, man. All right, so um, I think you know, stay prayed up, watch and pray. And like I say, they're gonna start bringing out more of these type of movies, you know, uh, showing so-called black masculinity because that's that's the most I put the spirit in them to do that, man. All right, and it just shows the downfall of these crackers, man, because they ain't got nothing else better to do. You know, and really, Black Panther is a comic book hero, and that's mostly what they bring it out any damn way, comic book um, theme movies. They even got a, 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 um, another Freddy Krueger and another um, Hellraiser, you know, Pinhead. They, they doing 80s um, movies remakes, man, because they running out of ideas in Hollywood. So these devils, are, they, they about to be out of here, man. They, they, their time is up, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahu Shai. Double honest to the apostles and others of GMS. And salutations to all you occupied that pushed this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.